Hi, welcome to the installation of Arch Merch 6.4.1. We're doing this in virtual box so you can see and follow and we can record everything. So Arch Merch has two ISOs. There is an Arch Merch and an Arch Merged with a D. The one is for fun and the other is to learn. What does, I, does it mean? It's all explained on archmerch.info, but basically it means that this one, Arch Merch, is actually installed completely with uh, software and with icons and with themes and so on. And the other one is going to be about learning. And we get the base installation of Arch Merch, no desktop, no applications, nothing whatsoever. Now, this is the first screen we get. We are in an XFCE environment at this point in time when you boot up. And you see here the uh, Calamares, which is the icon up here and it will guide us through a graphical installation. So any language you want, you just choose it down here and um, it will be translated into that language in XFCE. Openbox is written in text file, so a text file will never be translated. In English that we get to Brussels, so where are you from? Just uh, make sure it's correct. It is uh, automatically correct for me. And I choose my uh, personal brand here, uh, brand Azerti is the one I need for my keyboard. So you just check what you want. And then always the question for people, uh, I would like to dual boot and all that. My uh, expertise and all these years and all the uh, messages and all the articles I've read online is that it gives you a lot of frustration, a lot of lost time. Just switch SSDs and say you get a whole of my hard disk or SSD and say erase disk and let him partition himself. So that's my opinion. You can do whatever you want, of course. So this is Arch Merch. And I choose to log in automatically without asking for the password and use the same password for administrator account. So that's also a choice you have. You can do it or not. So what it's going to do is a give here, this hard disk is going to get a partition. You can read it down here. So an MS DOS partition and so on. SSDA, X4, etc. etc. And Linux swap and so on. So just follow along and say you're probably right, you're the expert Calamares, you just install it the way you want. Now remember this is a virtual box, that's why X4 there, X4 is so small. But it's enough, I think we're about, we need about 10 or 11 gigabytes or something like that for a whole operating system with all the applications you could ever want. So yeah, really, um, it's not that much at all. So accessories, development, education, graphics, GIMP, Inkscape. So actually it's kind of Photoshop and so on. The Adobe uh, suite, you have it all. And we have an office in there as well. So a lot of um, things that are included in this 10 to 11 gigabytes. Three browsers, which I really need and really use. Rather, I do not use a LibreOffice, but it's there for the community. You asked it to be there, so it is there. So things like that. And all you have to do is wait for the system to unsquash. So it's actually your etc file, user file, everything what Linux is built up. That's it. That's it being unzipped, as you, as you can say. And later on, we can reboot. Let's uh, pause the video here so we don't have to wait too long. And there we go. Everything is uh, been uh, installed and we can restart now again. Done. And then we boot, of course, from the hard disk itself. And we have installed ourselves an Arch Merge version 6.4.1 to be released 1st February of 2018. Remember, Arch Merge has three desktop environments. So when you log off, um, which is this button, log out, then it's up to you to decide what you choose. So open box, XFCE or i3. Three of them. So if you're a newbie, they say, so new to Linux, then you better stay with XFC, I guess. And then you can go along with Openbox and maybe later i3. That was my vision of a learning path.
but it can be any learning path you want. You can start with Pi3 if you want. When you've installed everything, the first thing I do, Ctrl Alt T, is probably check out if, because this ISO is going worldwide, is check out if my uh, servers, my Arch Linux servers, are the fastest there can be. So this command uh, will check with the application reflector, will check what are the current, what's the current list of Arch Linux servers, that's one thing, but also the fastest. So if we have the fastest uh, servers around, then I try to type in this one, and you'll probably forget it, but remember the word alias, and alias is something uh, that a text is replaced by another text, so this line here is the line I'm going to use. That's yaourt, this, and so on and so on. So this line is what I'll always use to update my system. So it's a long line, and I don't like to type long lines. So that's why we have the use of aliases. So that's going away. It is going to update everything, and that's uh, installed. First you can do is go check uh, your preferences. I think that's the first thing maybe you'll do is check out what appearance is there. Um, we have uh, new um, hibiscus is new and also Tori is new. So let's change it to Tori. And there's the icons and we can change some icons. I can model new mix. So that means if you have a file manager, it's going to be the new mix folders, but keeping the icons from Saturday. Things like that, so you can change anything, maybe the font a little bit bigger, and so on, and so on. So it's up to you to change the wallpaper, and the wallpapers are provided via variety. So next wallpaper, please. And there are also lots of shortcuts with Alt T, you can trash this one. And with Alt arrow to the right, you have the next one, the next one, and the next one, and the next one. And you'll see these are all the Arch Merch pictures. The woman we just saw was not an Arch Merch picture. It's coming from Variety, because Variety is, is fun. It gets us wallpapers from desktopper.co. So this woman came from there. So random wallpapers from Desktopper. And many people ask me, Eric, where do you get all these wonderful wallpapers? Well, it's actually coming from Variety. And never go look for Variety for wallpapers. It's just this pro program, this application, that gets them from Desktopper. So that's... Uh, Sometimes I hate them, so Alt T and delete again. So all the T stands for trash. And we can just move about all the way wallpapers. So that's it for me. Uh, we've installed Arch Merch and everything is now up to date here. And that's it basically. Have fun.